Oi, Alexa, you slag. What's the date? Well, I don't think Alexa likes being called a slag. Although she is. Alexa, what is the date, please? As a man, date can have a few meanings. <sighs> Alexa, what's the date? It's Tuesday, the 21st of May. It's Tuesday, the 21st of May, 2024. And it's 10 past seven in the evening time. I've been left alone for a little bit. So let me tell you of my jaunt to York yesterday. I couldn't film this yesterday because I didn't have any privacy. I can't be performing in front of my mother. She'd only pour scorn. So um, yes, I went to York yesterday on the bus, I think it's called, public transport. Still costs two pounds. And um, I, I, I waited for the bus. And then when I got onto the bus, I realized it was a trainee driver just out of nappies. So I thought, ooh, should I go to the top and sit at the front? Or should I hedge my bets and sit on the lower floor in the middle? I didn't know what to do for the best. Anyway, I knew he was a trainee because he had trouble accepting my payment. Plus, there was another man, a more mature gentleman, sat on the front seat telling him what to do. As the young people, they do need an older man to, to show them the way. Who were Mrs. So, um, anyway, so I decided I would go up. I went up to the top, sat at the front. I think I was the only one on the top. So as it comes, when it comes to buses, I am a top. I, I don't like it at the bottom. I like to go to the top and at the front if the seat's available. So when you rode up, I um, sat there and I was thinking, mm, well, okay, everyone's got to learn. And I was thinking, right, I was thinking, right, what am I going to do if this bus tips over? I didn't know which way. So I had a rucksack with me, empty, ready for some shopping. And I thought, right, well, I'll, I'll have, make sure I've got my rucksack ready. So if the bus does tip, I'll just put, put the rucksack on my head to hopefully prevent any shards of glass going in my precious skin. Anyway, apart from a little bit of a scrape at a bus stop, um, could hear, I, I had my earphones in, but I could hear the scraping, um, even with earphones in. Apart from that, obviously, we arrived in York intact. So I just went for a walk around York and uh, didn't have anything in mind as such to buy. Oh, there was only one thing I, I thought I wanted to buy and then I forgot about another thing, but then I remembered it when I saw the shop. So anyway, when I went to York, they, they butchered the trees down Parliament Street, but they had a big wheel. And I thought, I'm going on that. I'm gonna go on that big wheel. So I had a quick shift in, it was seven pounds. So uh, I looked at the thing and it said seven pound cash preferred. So I thought, okay, I'll go and get some cash out. And uh, I had a little ride on the big wheel.
So after the big wheel, I went to various shops and this is what I bought. I can't, I did go to Betty's, Betty's Tea Room. Um, I bought myself a chocolate flavored custard slice, which has already been consumed and pooed out by the time you see this. I also bought Mark, a fat rascal. He likes a fat rascal and he also likes a Yorkshire curd. So I bought Mark a fat rascal and a small Yorkshire curd. Mark's coming, it's Tuesday today, isn't it? Yes, Mark's coming tomorrow, Wednesday. He's stopping the night here because on Thursday morning, he's off to London with his sister and nephew and uh, a friend, but not together. They're going to the Chelsea Flower Show and are stopping two nights, I think, and then they're going to see Sister Act to the musical. Um, and then when he comes back from London on Saturday, we'll be both going home. He's shown me a video of the garden. It's coming on, but um, I haven't seen it completed. I've seen it um, partially done. So I had a walk around York and bought various bits and pieces. Would you like to see them? No? Well, you're going to anyway. I went to, I just needed some screwdrivers for here because um, I can never find any here. And these were, I was looking on Amazon, but these were much better value. These are Decton. I think they were six pound odd. I've lost the receipt. About six pounds something for insulated screwdrivers with anti-slip grip. Um, includes flat, three millimeter times 75 millimeter, five millimeter times 100 millimeter, six millimeter times 150 millimeter, and Philips PHO, PH1 and PH2. So um, yeah, I think they'll be good enough when I need to potter with some screwdrivers. And this was only a pound. It's a, a mains tester, but it's a nice little, oh, what's going on down there? I've got some dogs here. Two of the dogs are over the road with mother. We've got Molly and Daisy here, but we've also got little crippled Molly who's here for a few days. She, oh, she was so excited to see me. So that's an ideal one for sort of size for, you know, changing a plug. So I got that from Yorkshire Trading. Do you mind not making a noise with that toy? I needed a, um, a, ha a cap or two for me holes because I don't really want to slather me bonts with carcinogenic sun cream. Although I do use one that's supposed to be green and, you know, it's got Edelweiss in it uh, instead of toxic chemicals. So I haven't even tried them on. These were from Next. I'm just gonna have to get rid of that toy. They, they think there's a dog treat in it. I don't know if you can hear it anyway. 18 pound for two. And um, I don't know if I can separate them. No, I'll need a doodah. So I've got a blue cap and a burgundy cap. Um, I can't put it on properly. Just keeps the sun off me bonds. Um, so that was from Next in Coney Street, not, don't really shop at Next much anymore. I looked at the caps in m and I saw a lovely jacket actually, and I was gonna treat myself to it, sort of um, a sage green, summer weight jacket. I wanted something a bit nicer for going to London. Um, so I looked at it, tried it on, thought, yeah, that's nice. I'll come back for that. Um, I did go back to m and but I didn't buy the jacket. You'll see why later. So we've got these caps here. And then one thing, I know it's a, a ridiculous thing to, to call a treat, but it is a treat. I went to Browns of York department store established in 1890. And my mum says, these are the best tea towels you can get. And I'm sure they're a step up from the, oh, they're a nice size as well, look at that. Um, I normally just used to buy packs of four or five tea towels from Asda for four quid or something. These are six pounds each or two for a tenner. So I treated myself to six new tea towels for 30 pounds, see browns. So I'm gonna look online actually. These are the original Poly Dry by Samuel Lamont and Sons. I can't think they're made in the UK. Would be nice, wouldn't it? They probably used to be, like everything. Here we are, you can machine wash at 60, that's good. 100% cotton. 
Mm, there's no doodah of what's it, country of origin. But anyway, so I got two red, two, oh, I didn't see that. You see, I thought I'd looked at them. Oh, look, there's a floor. <laughs> two gray and two green. So they'll be sort of replacing some of their tatty ones. And then I'll go online. I might find them cheaper online. Eventually, I'd like to replace all my tea towels with these. So they'd be especially good in the caravan where we use tea towels more um, because they're a lot thicker. They, they probably need, would better, be better. They probably would be better after a wash, is what I'm trying to say. Ideal tea, ideal tea towel, actually. If you want to play a shepherd or Jesus, uh, not Jesus, Joseph in the school nativity. You know, because that's what kids did back in the 70s. They'd have one of these and they'd get one of those snake belts, those elasticated snake belts. Do you remember those? And then you'd be a shepherd. My claim to fame, I don't have many. I actually, I was reminded of this, I had no idea. But I, I played Joseph. Mm. Oh yes. I camped it up next to Mary. Nobody, I mean, everyone knew that, uh, you know, God had impregnated Mary because that was probably a right. That's probably quite a camp, Joseph. Joseph wouldn't have known where to stick it in Mary. So it's a good job that the Lord Almighty gifted Mary with Jesus, our Saviour. So that's, uh, that's that. I went to Emanesu at the end. My mum wanted some blueberries and strawberries. And um, I was going to go back for obviously that uh, jacket, but I found somewhere else with a nicer jacket. I thought it was nicer. I like it anyway. Um, so I did go back to M&S. Um, I did buy myself some, uh, you know, I'm sick of wearing jean jeans. You know, I'm sick of wearing denim blue jeans. So I like the look of these. I didn't try them on in the shop, I couldn't be asked, but they are my size. Oh, I must cover up the size, we don't want you seeing. So these are a stretch, slim fit, um, jean sort of thing, yeah? So there were some nicer ones from their autograph range, a bit more money, in fact, probably a lot more I think these were 26, I think the autograph ones are 40 something. I did like them. So I took a snapshot of them so I could look them up online. Um, but they, they didn't have my size. Right, so. I went to a department store in York called Phoenix, which has been there a while. It's, uh, there's not many shops in York now that were there when I lived there. There are a few, but a lot have gone by the by, you know, gone by the wayside. But Phoenix has been there, well, since the 80s. And um, if you don't know where Phoenix is, well, you don't know. But it's near the Jorvik Viking Centre. You might have heard of that, where you can go around in a shopping trolley underground and you get all these smells wafted at you from the olden days, from Viking period, you know, smells of shit and animals and uh, B.O. So, you know, but you can get that in many areas of the country, I suppose. But uh, yes, you can pay for the privilege. I could have done that because there's hardly any queues on, you know, on a Monday morning when I went. I didn't have to queue up for the big wheel. So there was a few tourists. I could hear some American accents. I saw some uh, Chinese people, Chinese or Japanese. And yeah, it's already sort of tourist, tourists about. And I just walked, I didn't want people thinking I was a tourist. So I walked, you know, I knew where everything was. Went to the shops tourists wouldn't go, you know, like Boys, the Yorkshire Trading Company. Um, all those uh, local shops for local people. Anyway, I went to Phoenix. I went downstairs to look at their heels concession. And they, they basically had exactly the same stuff that uh, they had when I was last there. Um, I bought my Poles Pot and Prickle from there. I was contemplating getting a smaller prickle to go with my big prickle, but I thought, no, the big prickle looks okay on its own. I'll just leave it at one. And then, um, yeah, sort of set of peruse. Uh, everyone looked very bored. 
So then I went upstairs and for a laugh, I thought I'd look in the menswear, the expensive menswear that sells um, Ralph Lauren, Barber, Gant, is it? Um, and some other sort of high-endish brands. And I was just looking as if I could afford them, you know. I thought, oh, they'll soon, they'll soon twig on, won't they? They'll soon twig on, they'll think, what's he doing in here? You know, it's a pretty woman, it's like pretty woman. But, mm. Anyway, as I was leaving, I passed All Saints. I've never heard of All Saints, apart from the 90s girl band. And the only song I remember of them is, was it Never Ever? Never ever gonna da, 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 da. that one. I had no idea who this brand was aimed at. Is this a young brand? Is this for old farts? After I bought this jacket, it's a jacket in here from All Saints. I tried it on. Um, I had to look round. They didn't have much on sale. There was much. Well, nothing on sale. They didn't have much to offer, you know, it's this little concession. So the girl lee behind the till saw me and said, Ooh, can I help you? I said, I'm just trying this on, thank you. So I took my uh, Asda <laughs> uh, slacket, what do they call them? It's a shirt and a jacket, not a slanket, a slacket, something like that. It's sort of a shirt jacket, very lightweight. So I had took my Asda one off and popped it on my bag and then put this one on and I thought oh yeah that's nice and then I researched All Saints on the bus home and um, all the models in menswear you know 20 something stick thin long hair looking looking bored they didn't want to be there back in my day folks you know, in the mail order catalogues, the men look like men, you know, they look like proper men. They weren't prepubescent boys or just out, just past teenage. They were, you know, proper men. And especially in the underwear section, you'd get them sort of looking like this, sometimes with a pipe. Often they'd be pointing into the distance while their gentleman friend would be looking. And, you know, they would have their string vests on and their little Y fronts. String vest, string Y fronts as well back in the day, but they did have a little privacy bit at the front, you know. I don't think you can see the action, it's a good job, you can't see what I'm doing. So um, now it's also oof, the models, I mean, you know, I'm sure they're getting well paid, but at least, you know, I, I, I did enjoy looking at the underpants in mail order catalogues because we didn't have the internet. Nowadays, you can just press a few buttons and you can access all sorts of filth, not that I'd know. Right, I might have to move the camera so you can see the full effect of this All Saints jacket that I treated, and it was a treat, that I treated myself to. I'm so camp. Here it is, folks. It is, it is a bit 70s because it's corduroy. I think they call this an overshirt. So, I'm, I'm going to wear it as a, a sort of a spring summer jacket with t shirt underneath, um, possibly those trousers, or maybe fine gauge cotton crew neck knitwear. But anyway, I put it on, it's, it, it fits quite well, I, I think. No internal pockets there, that's the only trouble. Oh no, it has, it has. I couldn't find it in the shop. I need an internal one for my phone, especially going to London. Oh, it's got two internal. Oh, that's even better value then. Because I didn't really want to put anything in the, you know, oh, does that open? Oh, I'm not going to. I think it does. I don't want to force it. I don't want to put anything in there. I don't want to put fag packet, fag packet in there or anything or condoms because it'll show. So, you know, I can do up all the buttons. Anyway, as I said, I don't think I'll be shopping, I'll be a regular All Saints after I went on the website, but I'm happy to report that this particular item was on the website and it was being modelled by an older gentleman, older than most. So I thought, I've chosen well, I'm not going to look like mutton dressed as lamb. I think it's nice, I don't know. This will be quite versatile, I feel. It's not for the height of summer, but certainly spring, autumn, 
this sort of time period we're living in at the moment, late May, I think, you know, it's not warm enough yet to go without a jacket. And I think this will be nice for London. It's a nice length. Can you see my length? And um, there, do I dare say how much it cost? It's probably the most expensive single item of clothing. But I've learned, I haven't actually bought any new clothes for over a year, um, even from Fat Face. Not even in the sale, I just didn't. So um, I've decided to sort of probably just buy less clothing, but get what is perceived to be better quality anyway. It was a, it was a hundred and forty nine pounds and no pence. Hundred and forty nine. Is it worth it? I could probably get very similar from Primark. It doesn't have a logo, which is good. I believe that all Saints have a. There's some sort of skull. I always confuse the All Saints logo with the Next Stag logo. Because he used to see people on telly and thought, look at him, he's wearing a neck shirt. But it could have been All Saints. Because they look very similar. I wouldn't be surprised if Next decided to put their stag logo so it looked a bit All Saintsy. But this is not, I don't like logo, I'm not going to be logoed up. I don't like logos on clothes, I'm not here to advertise um, where I shop. Although you all know where I got this jacket because you've watched this video. So, there we go. Um, so I thought, yeah, she was just a young girl on the till. She, uh, it's a lovely bag, you know. It's a lovely bag. And I did feel, I did feel walking through York, I did feel rather posh with my All Saints bag, my Browns bag, my Betty's, Betty's tea room bag. I just kept all the cheap stuff hidden in my rucksack, you know. So <laughs> that's what I bought. So I'm, I'm, I'm so camped today, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, so that's, what do you think? Do you like it? But the one at M&S was similar colour. Um, but it was like a ca cotton canvas. The, the M&S one was 70 quid. It had a lot more sort of pockets. It look, look, looked a bit more like workwear. But I think this would be better for travelling. I think it, it won't show the dog hairs and it, I don't think it'll crease as much. I mean, it is cotton. I'm assuming it's 100% cotton. It's, of course, you know it's made in China, don't you? But I think um, hopefully it's made by less oppressed Chinese workers. Um, it's khaki green. Oh, it's called a Castleford shirt. I believe you can buy it in navy if you're interested. Um, and I'm assuming it's washable. Yes. Uh, there should be a label on. Oh, here's the label. Yes, it's washable. It says 30 degrees. Think you can't tumble dry it. It is 100% cotton, including 50% organically grown cotton and 50% recycled, so I'm half organic. So that was, uh, that was my trip to York. I'll hang that up. Anyway, I think that's going to look nice. I think it might look nice. I don't want to look too fancy in York, uh, not in London. Apparently the trick is in London is to dress poor because otherwise you might be targeted. So I'm wondering, I think that's a nice combo. I don't know if you can see, but um, the, green, the green corduroy with these jeans and then some sort of top that will coordinate with both. Maybe a t-shirt, maybe a long sleeve. I might get my, I might look, I'm going to uh, Selby. I'll be walking into Selby Ooh, probably on Friday, weather permitting. And they do have a very old fashioned department store that's been there yonks. I'm surprised it's still open. I can't remember what it's called now. We oh, that's my dinner. Weatherall's, Weatherall's, that's it. So it's a very old fashioned store and they do sort of menswear, a little bit of menswear, sort of nicer brands. So, pardon me. I might look for fine gauge, fine gauge, cotton jumper, or maybe a nice shirt, or something. I'll have a look anyway. 
Um, and then that's my outfit for London town when I go to Abba Voyage. So, um, so I'm having some gnocchi pasta. I'm going to leave it to stand while my um, I'm having three pieces of uh, garlic bread with it. So that's my dinner for today. Before I finish this section of my vlog from Mother of, I will just show you Molly and Daisy and oh, she's got, she's managed to get part, half into the bed. Little Molly, she can hardly walk at all now. She doesn't live here anymore. You'll have seen Little Molly before if you've watched me. Um, my mum basically had her permanently. She used to get, she used to look after her and then she sort of more or less had her permanently and then the owner moved to Scotland. So little Molly went to live in Scotland, but whenever the owner goes on holiday or anything, little Molly comes down here to stay and, um, oh, she did love, she loved it when she saw me because she's got a soft spot for me for some reason. My mum says dogs tend to like me. I don't know what they see in me, you know, but, um, Dogs, dogs, dogs are a good sense of character. They know, they know when a person is pure of heart and are dog lovers, I think. Even pussy likes me, pussies. You know, I've had cats coming up to me and, uh, you know, purring and nuzzling themselves up against me. So, um, yeah, my uh, knocky will be going tepid. So I'm going to have my din dins supper and I'll see you all for another video whenever. And um, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.